We're here today speaking with uh, Jake Solano, who is the marketing manager of uh, Zycel. I'm here in the headquarters in uh, Anaheim, California. Jake, how are you? I'm doing good, Rick. How have you been? I'm doing fantastic. I uh, just wanted to, to ask you some questions about uh, some of the new products you have in the fiber space, which seem really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, thanks, Rick, for this opportunity. And uh, yes, we've just recently announced um, a suite of products for our fiber, uh, fiber to the home offering. We have three products. Uh, one is, uh, the first product is an all-in-one uh, integra uh, integrated access device. It has 11G uh, wireless, it has ADSL2 plus modem, uh, two VoIP ports. Um, so basically this product is, um, you know, it allows telcos to kind of offer uh, services over ADSL2 Plus and then transition their customers to fiber to the home services. So it's a great product from that perspective. Another product we have is uh, 11N Gateway. And this, uh, you know, this offers 300 megabits per second. It's a really high performance product. Um, and, you know, it, um, uh, most of our products are all-in-one gateways because uh, service providers, in addition to just, um, they don't just want to offer um, uh, high-speed internet, but they're also uh, giving their subscribers a complete home networking solution, and preferably in one easy-to-use package. And the last product is um, 150 megabits per second version um, of 11N router. Um, this is for the more price conscious uh, subscribers who still want uh, a high functioning uh, access equipment and uh, that's for uh, those subscribers. So now if you're a, a service provider looking to mm -hmm. um, provide wireless access in the home, what are some of the benefits to, to providing uh, Wi-Fi as well? Um, that's a good question. I mean there, um, Rick, what we are seeing is these days, I mean, families have more than one computer and uh, they definitely want internet, high speed internet access, but they also want to network all the different computers. They want, uh, they, everybody wants a home networking uh, system or a connected home. Now, uh, if the service providers just offer high speed internet, uh, oftentimes uh, consumers go and buy off the shelf products. Now, if anything goes wrong, the first call, the first people to get the call are the service providers. And then uh, they end up having to troubleshoot, uh, you know, a whole variety of different devices. Um, they have to spend hours. Now, if the service providers are, uh, you know, are beginning to see this and they're like, if they can provide an all-in-one solution, they can provide high-speed internet along with home connectivity options, which means that now um, they can, uh, they have, um, um, they, they know the device. Uh, the other thing is since all our products have TR69 built in, they can remotely troubleshoot uh, any issues and yeah, and quickly resolve them uh, instead of spending hours on tech support. So it not only um, helps them to offer it, uh, increases their revenue because now they're offering more value-added services, but it also reduces their cost. Oh, that's fantastic. So it's just another way for a carrier to generate revenue. Absolutely, and save cost at the same time because now with TR69 built in, they can remotely troubleshoot even the wireless devices, which they can do with off-the-shelf uh, boxes. So, uh, you know, it definitely helps them. It saves, they don't need, uh, uh, saves the cost for a truck roll, which is very expensive. And you seem to have a very large line now of 11N products, right? That's true. Um, we have a, we have a very comprehensive line of 11N products. Uh, we got um, we have uh, an 11N ADSL2 Plus gateway. We have a bonded ADSL2 Plus gateway with 11N built in. Uh, we definitely talked about the 11N uh, for FTTH uh, applications, and uh, we're also. Uh, uh, very soon we're getting ready to announce a uh, VDSL2 uh, gateway with 11N and ADSL2 plus fallback. So this is what we call the universal uh, DSL gateway. So, it, you know, it, um, for shorter loop lengths, uh, it offers uh, VDSL2 speeds of 100 megabits per second download and 45 upload. 
but then if uh, the distance from the central office is beyond a certain uh, you know distance then it falls back automatically to ADSL2 and uh, ADSL2 plus speeds so it uh, gives a lot of flexibility of deployment to the service providers well that's very exciting and uh, it's always great to speak with you and thanks for uh, your time today thank you very much Rick appreciate it